say, who's calling, please? <gasps> who's calling? Is it for me? Is it for me? Yes. Hello? <gasps> it's your mommy's doctor. It's, she's calling to say uh, that he was wrong. And your mommy's not sick. I can tell Becky what's been going on and we'll both laugh about how scared I was. Your mommy's fine. She's fine. She is fine. Yeah. Yeah. You're home early. Yeah. I was so tired, they sent me home from work. Oh, hey, little munchkin. Hi. Did you have fun playing with Auntie Amber? Yeah, I bet you did. I see, so you changed your mind because you saw how smart she was. Yes, CJ, I think Becky Moore is a very intelligent young woman, okay? And beautiful. Indeed. Lovely. Funny. She's got a great sense of humor. Yes, indeed, she has a good sense of humor, son. Of course, she would need that if she's going to have anything to do with this family. <laughs> now, do you want me to repeat the whole litany one more time? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. I would be happy to do it. Becky Moore is a delightful young woman. She is very pretty, very intelligent, sensitive, and absolutely flawless. And I do apologize once again for misjudging her when I first met her. There. Are you satisfied? Um, not quite, but I'll definitely let you know when I am. <laughs> well, I suggest that you get your tape recorder and I will tape the whole thing. That way you can listen to it anytime you get the urge, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. Mom, this way is so much more fun. <laughs> so, are you planning to go out with Miss Moore again this evening? As a matter of fact, I am. But she doesn't know it yet. A surprise, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is romantic. So, uh, what exactly do you have in mind for the unsuspecting Miss Moore? Well, for starters... Oh, CJ. Aren't they great? They're very beautiful, but honey, are you sure you can afford this? Uh, I had a little saved up. Well... Hey, CJ. I got it right here. I think this will work. Just finished. Right uh, on, Dad. You are the man. Thanks. Yes, well, I might have known you were involved in this. That's a snazzy tuxedo. Mm. Well, thank oh. you. So, where do you intend to take Miss Moore tonight in that snazzy tuxedo? The Cafe Russe. Well, that's a lovely place, honey, but isn't it a little pricey? Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Yeah, well, well, maybe, but honey, I know how hard you work for your money. Oh, you're right, Mom. You're right. I work really hard for it, and there are a lot of things I could have bought, but... But I'd rather put a smile on Peggy's face. that on the phone? That was Rick. He said he and Kimberly will be here soon. Oh, that's great. I haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah, well, I guess I've kept you pretty occupied lately. Yeah, well, not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Macy, careful. You're gonna get dirty, honey. Maybe I want to get dirty.
Are you still tired? Yeah. CJ and I were on the phone really late last night. Oh, here, here. Come here, come here. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you were getting too big to carry, little boy. I think Mommy strained her back. Um, here you go. Uh, do you want some tea? Yeah, thanks. I feel so bad. Are you sick? No, I mean about work. I told Mr. Forrester that I would put in the hours, and, and I could do it in Paris. I guess I didn't realize how tiring it would be being a mom. Well, you should just take it easy tonight, okay? Oh, I will. Well, um, we, we only have two different types of tea. We have this um, constant comment stuff, which is supposed to be kind of sweet, but I haven't really tried it. But I prefer the lemon spice because it has green tea in it. Think about it, you guys. Becky has never been to a place even remotely close to the Cafe Ruth. She is going to love it. Well, of course, she's going to love it, CJ, but there's, there's something you haven't considered here. Which is? Which is that Becky is a working girl on a limited income, and this evening is a surprise. Now, I'm sure she doesn't have an extensive wardrobe. She may not have anything to wear to a place like the Café Russe. I believe that's all taken care of, isn't it, Dad? Yes, I believe so, right as we speak. <laughs> Ah, I see. So you two have all the bases covered, huh? <laughs> Indeed we do. Oh, well, that's fine. Then you have everything you need for a perfect date, except for one thing. Mm, what's that? The girl. Get on the phone and call her. Hey, Amber, it's CJ. Is Becky there? Yeah, she's here, but she's asleep. No, CJ, I'm not gonna wake her up. She's exhausted, okay? No. no. Is that CJ? Yeah. Mm, let me talk to him. Hold on, CJ. You are not going out tonight. Hi. Hey, sleeping beauty. Mm, aren't you supposed to wake me up with a kiss? Mm, I am, but I'll have to do that next time. <laughs> well, then I'm going back to sleep. Oh, no, 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 you can't. You gotta get ready. What for? We are going out. Oh, CJ, I would love to. But I'm really tired, and I promised Amber that I would take it easy tonight. Well, I'm sorry. You can sleep when you're old and gray. I got everything all planned out. You gotta come. What have you got planned? Well, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Oh, hold on. There's somebody at the door. Oh, wait, I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah, for Becky Moore. Uh, yeah. Thanks. What is it? Open it up. He says open it up. It's beautiful. So, will you wear it tonight? Yes. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you did this for me. All for you. So I'll pick you up at seven, okay? Okay. <laughs> she loved the dress. Well, of course, the girl's got taste. <laughs> well, we already knew that, but you are the big surprise. Just when did you turn into such a romantic character, huh? Just call me Cupid. Oh, Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cupid starts with a C. It's beautiful. Oh, it's the most gorgeous thing that I've ever seen. But if you're tired, then... I'm not. Oh, you don't mind babysitting tonight, do you? No. <sighs> Thanks. I wonder where we're going. Somewhere nice, obviously. He is so sweet. 
You deserve it, Beck. I'm gonna go try it on. Macy, come on, we have company coming. Well, then we better get busy. <clears throat> What? <laughs> what? You look like a chimney sweep. <laughs> Let me see. No, no, don't touch anything. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't touch. Oh, uh, hey, hey, oh, you're bad. <laughs> right here? You're a bad. Oh, you're a bad girl. And you uh. are a lucky boy. <laughs> yes, I am. You're good for me. <laughs> Good for you, like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> no, I mean like a vacation. You know how you get so caught up in your life, You're so focused on everything that you gotta do, and then somebody gets you to take a couple of days off. So you go to the mountains, and as soon as you get there, you can just feel your muscles just relaxing you know just letting go and you realize this is exactly what i needed hmm. you know where you're headed and you know who you are that's how you make me feel that's the sweetest thing you ever said to me People coming over. Yeah, we do. Hey, hey. Hello. Hello. This is Dr. Russell's office calling for Becky Moore. Uh, speaking. I just wanted to confirm your appointment with Dr. Russell for this evening. Ta da! Miss Moore? Um. Yeah, I'll be there. Who is that? Oh, work. Me. Oh my gosh, look at you! Oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, it fits perfectly. CJ's getting major points. <laughs> That's him. You look so good. Thanks. So do you. Hey, CJ. Hey, Amber. Hey, little man. What's happening? Huh? How you doing? Yeah? Oh, what's down there? It's something for you. Check that out. Watch. Bop. Bop. Yeah, you like that, huh? I tell you what. 
You let me borrow your mommy for a couple of hours and you can keep it, okay? Is that a deal? Deal? Yeah? All right, on. Huh? So, CJ, where are we going? We are going to the Cafe Roots. <gasps> really? Yes, really. But we're not going to have a table to sit at unless we get there by 7. So, bye, Amber. Oh, <laughs> bye, sweetie. Be good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> Don't wait up. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. They love like... <sighs> Okay. We'll play with this later, okay? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We have to get you to Shannon's, okay? And I have to go to Dr. Russell's. <laughs> And then he is going to tell me that this is all a big mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yes. Okay, did I get it all off? Yeah, okay. good. You look great. Okay, hello. Hello, darling. Here we are. Mm. Kiss, kiss. These are for you. Hello, Thor. How are you? Hi, how are you? So, darling. You need anything? Can we help? Everything is under control. Good. Where's CJ? Ah, CJ had some very elaborate plans for the evening. He and his lady friend are having dinner at the Cafe Russe. Ah, oh. nice. <laughs> Clark, why don't you give me a hand here? Grab that uh, crudite back there and... Brought some uh, wine for the burgers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bring that too. Well, I'll just uh, get a vase for the flowers. Good. Glad you like them, darling. They're beautiful. Uh, honey. Are you absolutely sure we're not too early? You're right on time. Yeah, well, I keep getting the feeling that maybe we uh, are interrupting something. Oh, please, don't be silly. No, we were uh, just getting ready for the barbecue. I was helping Thorne clean out the grill. Uh-huh. Yes, well, uh, so I see. Uh, Macy, honey, you have a little something right here on your bosom there. <laughs> 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 so, I guess things are uh, going very well for you yes, and Thorne. Yes, they are going very well. Well, that's wonderful, because that means that both of my children are lucky in love. Yeah, well, tell me about CJ's girlfriend. Well, you know, I was opposed to him having anything to do with Becky Moore at the beginning, but uh, the other night, he brought her over to the house for dinner, and I was very impressed. Well, don't tell him that. He'll lose all interest. <laughs> No, no, I don't think he will, honey. I think CJ has fallen. I think he has fallen head over heels. May I help you? Uh, yeah, reservations for Garrison, please? Yes, Mr. Garrison, we have a lovely table for you. Right this way. Thanks. Go ahead. Wait. Um, before I spell something or say something stupid, I just wanted to say thank you. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me before. Well, uh, you know how you make me feel? Nobody's ever done that before either. Just be a moment. Okay. Oh. 